Now Daisy's being a nice kitty. She's a good baby. Hello. Over and over a hundred, a million, uh, a million hundred times. Skyrim, all, all, all Skyrim's www.skyrim.gov. Yeah, YouTube loops, yeah. But basically, just opened a Chrome tab that already had music open, and I like spun around and threw a dart. Right, right, thanks, Tom. I'm pretty sure I already spent all mine, but I could probably still scrounge a few to throw at some nighttime or whatever. A while ago, I pretty much cashed them all in on catalysts and reactors. Sorry, I don't want to sound like I'm not in the know. I mean, I spent them all on potatoes. Eh. It's because they are look of, like, the potent. In shapely ways. I'm gonna have to stream the Mega Man Game Boy games. I mean, they're the only direction left for me to go. I've streamed all of the Mega Mans except Legends. Some of those Mega Mans I could do for Flashback Friday. You know what I could also do for Flashback Friday? Yeah, you some loops, yeah. Uh, do I already have that down? Yes, okay. I already made a note of Arkham Asylum. That's a thing I could do. And, considering I have, you know, the good future now, I could even finally get around to doing Arkham City. Which I enjoyed a bit less than Asylum, if I'm honest, but, I mean, it was still worth experiencing. Arkham City absolutely wins the Zior Award for outstanding title and, like, main menu themes. I should play some Skyrim. Fade out. And play, playing the video game is what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and play some Skyrim. We're gonna keep doing all the stuff that we were doing in Skyrim. Actually, I already remember where I was. I was inside the Stwammer Ruin here in Solstheim. I was working with this guy. He wants me to find his cubes. His cool RGB cubes. And then I'm going to... Profit. Retire while young. What? Well, so you nutty! Oh no, it resisted my fire damage. 
Actually, it was pretty resi resistant to getting shot by arrows. And by that, I mean I could not hit them with the bow. Yeah, we had our first session of our new D&D campaign proper the other day, and I, uh, we're all feeling really good about that. Ollie especially. Put on a very good campaign. We're all excited to get into it. These must we have another really good cast of characters going here. In the city's days of glory, it was reputed to be able to assemble a complete autonomy in a single day. Much of the Dwemer's army at the Battle of Red Mountain must have come from here. The Dwemer didn't really get along with anybody, did they? I mean, hardly anybody in Tamriel at large gets along with anybody in the first place, but... Like we'll need to lower the water level. Dwemer especially, they just got into a lot of freaking trouble. I'm waiting for that thing to come to life. What, what do you mean? Yeah! What, where'd you go? Did you fall? Did you do a fall down? You did. Gravity works normally in Dwemer ruins. Uh, what's going on here? Am I just... There we go, thank you. Wow! Nice hit. Can't hit shit today. Yeah, I'm just rusty because I haven't streamed this in seven entire Earth days. That's my excuse. I'll get better. Still like scrounging for every arrow I fire. I need to break that habit. That's gotta be annoying. So my guess is, if you wanted us to lower the water level, we're probably going... I don't know where I'm going. I'll try that. I like how the Bloodshed mod even adds, like, oil pools for when you destroy constructs. They thought of how everything would bleed. I just picked up some scrap I don't want, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I, I mustn't forget that I have all these spiders. I really need to try to remember to use some of those. I was also going to make some more, I forgot. All my arrows came downstream. Neat. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Just got done saying gravity works normally inside Dwemer Ruins, and then I felt like I was doing some really weird jumps. Destroy ass. I sure have been playing an awful lot of them monster hunters. I kinda figured that was the way that was gonna go. What can I say? Monster Hunter World is, in fact, quite good. What a waste of a good specimen. Yeah. I do really like Dwemer stuff, you know that? The Dwemer are freaking cool. I mean, surprise, Eeyore likes the race that's famed for automation and constructs and... ...metal industry. I just think they did some interesting stuff with it. Joel actually just finished his Morrowind stream the other day. It went on for like three years, but he just put on the finale. Uh, either yesterday or the day before. Do, do I have any more cubes? Whoa! Oh, I see. You don't have to leave the cubes in these ones, they just toggle. Oh, that's nice. I'll have to rewatch that because I was distracted with the D&D session, so yeah, it was yesterday. But, uh... He then started playing around with mods, like he, he went to McDonald's in Morrowind. And he had like an AK. 
you know, Joel stuff. Sorry, don't mind me, man. I'm just gonna, I, it's, I mean, it's how I do adventures. I just zigzag all over the place. And if there, if it looks like there's a clear way forward, I do that last. Because in the dead ends is where they hide all the cool stuff. See, like right here. Walked right up to this Dwemer box. Didn't even pick the lot. Yeah, I think it's in like, uh, I think in the southern states, like Tennessee and on south, like if you order uh, like a triple Big Mac meal, you also get an AK. You have to prove you're at least 12, though. The family Guy did that joke a long time ago. Ryan just buys himself, like, some whiskey. The guy's like, here you go, just puts a revolver on the counter, he's like, uh, what? Like, yeah, buy some whiskey, get a gun, and he's like, is, is that a special? He's like, no, man, it's Texas state law. <laughs> Sorry, you're saying words? I'm prying all these things apart and taking the oil out of them. Just in case I eventually devise a use for it. Yeah, I hope he didn't say anything important. I'm sure he just said, wow, that was productive. We should go a different way. Okay, so he probably says, yeah, take this cube, which will probably raise the water level back up. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes. Maybe not. <laughs> I always forget about my water walking boots. Yes, let's. How are you gonna get here? I guess you can swim. I hope there's nothing interesting under there. In any case, that's pretty much what's been going on in my life in between, you know, sporadic bouts of total existential despair. The usual. Monster Hunter in D&D. So our party this time is what, like, a tiefling, I believe she's, what, a warlock, or some such. I have like a cleric who like wears 11 different holy symbols. And both of them have other entities inside their heads. We have a tree guy with a smart ass bird living in him. We have like a relentlessly optimistic and like <laughs> <laughs> Bright and bushy tailed warforged. Who just wants to hug everybody. We have my character, the like. kind of jaded and taciturn, but none nonetheless, you know, good natured desert dweller. We have like. A, like a street thief botanist. D&D is cool. Hope you can swim, fucker. Ah, oh, this is as high as it goes. Ow! Hey, cut that up. By my count, we've found a total of four kills. Assuming you haven't dropped it. Can you dive under there and get him? No, arrows float. It's fine. I'll get him. 
I know pretty much nobody can relate when I'm talking about D&D and all of our D&D adventures, except for the handful of regular viewers who are also in the campaigns, but I don't care. They're important to me. I'm going to talk about Damn it. It does feel a little bit good to be back in a monster owner, I won't lie. Whoop. We need to find enough control cubes to keep the pumps running and to turn on all four boilers. I'm sure it was, uh, one of Vinny's Skyrim bingo items. Oh, hey. Wow. That's a critical success right there. Maybe, no, it's just, it's not actually balancing on anything. It's just there now. That's even better. Yeah, Vinny used to do bingo with his Skyrim streams, and I'm sure one of the items was, like, Vinny attempts to balance something on an NPC's head. I've been through here. Probably. Let's just follow the waypoints. I'm unsure if my water walking boots are just completely breaking this dungeon or not. I mean, theoretically it shouldn't. It should expect me to have them at this point. See, we've been here. All right. You'll need to lower the water level before we can proceed any further. Indeed. Wonder if I'm missing anything good in here. And, uh, let's see, that bridge is gonna lower and there's gonna be a big old dwarven centurion in there. Ow. I do, I dig these spheres, man. These are good automatons. I would use these guys. Defend my evil citadel. Ow. I do appreciate that the arrows just kind of punch them. Like, they, they don't pierce the constructs, they just kind of ram into them. That's true, I can summon spheres, I almost forgot. There, it's, there, it's just been so much Skyrim. How can one remember everything that's happened? I am still loosely planning on doing, uh, starting a San Andreas stream after Skyrim, which will probably run, like, at least as long. But, uh, the pacing of GTA is a bit different. Especially if the last time, nice, uh, the last time I played San Andreas is anything to go by. I remember the last time I played San Andreas seriously, I'm pretty sure I was also playing it like alongside my friend Phoebe and we were just kind of like passively, constantly one-upping each other's bizarre antics the entire time. It's like how insanely can we play the game and still like actually be making progress, that sort of thing. Kind of like how I played uh, Scribblenauts, come to think of it. So, sort of almost not really, that parallel doesn't really hold up on close inspection, I don't know, I'm just saying words. I'm not very good at this. Whoa, how are you doing there, man? You, uh, you alright? What even are... What even fires those projectiles? I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Just the once, and not very long. 
I mean, we could have kept him longer, but I told everybody to let him go. Because he was actually kind of a bro. We still have cubes to pop. Yes, we do, don't we? So why are we here? How did we get led here? If I do not yet have all cube. Do I have any of those in me? Nope, I'm fine. As interesting as Morrowind was to study from a historical perspective, I really don't think I could play Morrowind. I think I already had that conversation, but holy man, oh boy. That whole game was made entirely out of old-timey PC game jank. It was truly a jank masterpiece. Speaking of Morrowind, I think this is related to that. How come you can see through the eye holes from the front and then... Weird. I guess I'm missing cubes. How do I get the other cubes? Yeah, there's a lot of jank to that game, but I'm pretty sure the rolling to hit is what, above all else, would turn me completely off that game. Let's do something different. I think the waypoints led me astray here. Oh yeah, you can actually see those brassy spears loaded up in there. Yeah, I mean the water level will probably come back up if I take any of those, but... So the waypoint is still pointing at these. Maybe. Maybe not. Is it just gonna stay lowered now? What happens if I take one of these ones up here then? There. Gif. Alright, so I guess I just need cubes in these two. I was going to say Water Temple flashbacks, no, I think I was actually thinking of, uh, Wind Waker a little bit. I'm not sure, sure specifically what part of Wind Waker that reminded me of. Alright then. Go. Active. This place is a lot more elaborate than the average Skyrim dungeon, that's for sure. The last cube is somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. <laughs> he has to swim. Not me, not this cat guy. Pump activator up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. <sighs> Good. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, these have. 
little arrows on them. And they light up. So you can make them all point kind of that way and then they glow red. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm like, uh, trying to make a path for this guy then? Got it. Or for... okay, we got it. I got it. I figured it out. It's fine. I'm good at puzzles. What shout should I be using in here? These guys I should be able to foos. Yeah, that's fine. Those are pretty good at Monster Hunter now. Uh, heavy bow guns. Some of them have a feature called Wyvern Snipe that I enjoy thoroughly. Like, there are two special ammo types. One is, like, machine gun mode, which you can... It, like, steadily regenerates ammo, and you can use it for as long as you have ammo. And then Wyvern Snipe. I mean, like, you only get the one shot. The boys had a good shot. I got like a kill cam screenshot of like a jar of totus just like exploding in midair after I hit it with a wife and sniper. I'm like, ha ha ha. This is good. It is now dead because of the thing I did. This pleases me. What are these now? These do not look like the dwarven bolts I get. I want those ones. Yeah, see, the, what is this? Unless they do. Hold on. Also, damn it, I did it again. Get out of here. Why, they're invisible! Yeah, no, I just get, like, regular ass... Like, steel bolt bolts. You know what, I haven't used my crossbow in a little bit. I'm feeling that. Why don't we save some arrows, use some bolts? How you doing? We need to find enough control cubes to keep the pumps running and to turn on all four boilers. Okay. Cube. Cube game. Game about cubes. Really nonchalant about that. What's going on? Nothing. I guess we're going back down. I guess it's like the ominous and ornate nature of this place, plus the water levels. It's reminding me of like the ground floor of the Tower of the Gods in Wind Waker. I don't know why that one particular area of the game made a lasting impression on me. Alright, well, in this lighting you can at least see that like the bolt head is at least like kind of bronzy colored. I made it. Cube. Uh, 
Uh oh. Okay, no. I am jumping high today. What is this? Why why am I why am I doing big tall jumps? Ah crap. Hang on, I got a solution. I might die. Yeah, I probably just died. <laughs> Good, I wonder where my last autosave was. Alright then. Yeah, I realized my mistake the split second after I did it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Quickly. Ah, uh, there is Skyrim video game streams. Funny Skyrim cat streams. Nobody seems to watch these anymore. Except Tama. Tama's always here. Tama is stream number one fan. Well, that felt pretty good. Wow, okay, crossbow is really good against these guys. Yeah, I'd say you're number two, yep. Thomas says you're number one. Ah, it says, actually, I'm number zero. Ah, I see what you did. I need to get that fart thing hooked up. Then everybody will flock to my stream. Everybody will be like, hey, the new internet sensation. Sweeping the globe. Zero fart stream entertainment. You do the farts. How am I looking? Arrow check. No, I'm fine. This guy's got nothing for me. Conspicuous shortcut created. Can I? Yep, no problem. Boots of water walking are also boots of water on landing. Are there crossbows in any other Elder Scrolls games? There must be. Oh, that's what I picked up. Get out of here. Alright, I guess I'll take the boots off. Yeah, I have to. Smooth and natural transition. Do you have the kill? No. Good, good. I'll take this kill and we can be on our way. Why do I? Why? 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 Why, why do you seem suspicious to me? Water's rising even higher. Boat comes shut down. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. 
Maybe I don't love enough. That was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here. Your voice carries very well underwater. With the cube I retrieved from the pumping pedestal, we should now have five cubes. Exactly what we need. Now we can finally see about getting those started. Tom agrees. He is a wizard. That is very suspicious. I mean, yeah, he's he's just a Telvani, no less. Why do why is your why is my waypoint on you? Are we leaving? Let's go. All right. Let's just go. I'm gonna put my foots back on. It's good. Bet you wish you were a good wizard so you could do that. That's not the way to go. I guess to swim some more still. Whoopsie. I knew that. Flashbacks to Ocarina of Time. Switching, going back and forth in and out of the menu to wear your iron foots or don't. Someone says he could feasibly know water walking. I mean, this would be a pretty good time to demonstrate it if he did. <coughs> oh, pardon. You'll need the cube I picked up to start all the boilers. Here, I picked up this cube for you. Yeah, cube. Shall we get on? Good thing I have my two iron arrows ready. What happened to auto-equip arrows mod? Or like auto-equip stupid fart and butt cracks. Alright, so Nordic is as good as... Dwarven. I'm gonna use Nordic arrows just because they look cool, and I might as well. If I take one of you, will that kind of raise the water level? Yes. All right. Probably. Call it. Here I am, like, hoarding my expensive arrows as if it even really makes much difference. Wow, okay, you know what? He is a pretty good wizard. He really kind of... Those lightning blasts strike with authority, man. That's why we're here. We're looking for more funny Hermias Mora tentacle books. Wait, were those Daedric arrows? I didn't even notice. I am honestly not sure yet. Yeah, sure, sure enough. I am not sure how many dwar uh, Daedric anythings I've ever gotten in Skyrim, actually. I don't know if I've ever played a character long enough to start getting them. That is interesting. What else is heavy? You know, get out of here. I'm gonna put these both in that chest. There we go. Alright, so put heavy stuff away. Like... Like... Like you. Store. And like... You go away. And, and, and. I feel like last time I discovered that there was a general goods merchant somewhere in Solstheim, but I don't remember. I'm 
shocker of the day, number two. Zero doesn't remember a thing. I should have an okay number of Daedric hearts if it comes down to that. That's exactly how elevators work. You pull the lever and then whoosh sound and then you fade. Now that the boilers are working, it should be simple to release the book from its protective case. Shall we get on with it? At last, I hope it was worth it. Please be my guest. You deserve the first. Well, that's nice of you. Very dangerous. These books are known to drive many. Oh, pfft. yeah, they pose no threat to me. Oh, good. You want to say hello to her mayor for me? Yeah, I'll let him know you said hi. Back to the Hermias Mora library of bad touches. Boy, this is very advanced stuff for a Skyrim engine. It's amazing they got that to work. <laughs> Thomas says high tech noodle tube. Settle down. Hermias Mora's many grasping tentacles and their terrible aim. I'm jumping normally now. Yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know what the consequences for falling in the schmutz are, but I'm, I'll assume they're bad. Since Doom. Yeah, Super Cat. What, you will- I, I was expecting, like, another 35 of those secret things. Yeah, like that. Like, you lurker? I don't even care. I, like, I'm not even watching where you're going. Complete disrespect. Fall down. This guy trying to lead his shots. Destroy ass.
There it is again. Well, friggin' paralysis on Bo has just, like, become my bane since it apparently started triggering the instant the kill cam does. Thanks again for not fixing that giant bug fix patch that's supposed to work but doesn't. I don't even care about that. Is this just... yeah, that goes back. Book gateway. Read about going somewhere else. Things are so weird. <clears throat> Pardon me. I was gonna say, pretty lackluster book challenge, but I guess we have another chapter. I wonder if Zior wins this time, too. I think that guy's a total Gary Stew between you and me. Not very strong writing. Ah, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Yes, turns out Goop is hurting even if you water walk. Water jumping, on the other hand. Can I just Skyrim parkour? No? Maybe? Um, no, nah, I think it expects me to die down there. Just like Doom. Huh? Nah, we're not doing that. Different people have very different experiences when reading. No, that's not how this goes. Oh good, now I'm bugged so I can... What the, what the utter ass do you mean I'm carrying too much to run? Huh? No, I in fact am not. There we go, thank you. Skyrim. We all love Skyrim, but it's going to be one of those cases where I'll also be relieved to be done with it. I don't like these guys very much. Those are so many of them. I like how they just kind of collapse into... just pile. <clears throat> I don't remember Dragon Aspect being that noisy. It's making all kinds of swishy sounds. Also, it seems to be uh, making my downstairs really powerful. You, I'm kind of picking up on that. I was like, hmm. Wonder if there's uh, any symbolism going on here. Yeah. It's like I have my own catchphrases, and then some of the people in chat have their own, too. Just thinking a second ago, I don't know how Destroy Ass became such a- Well, it's mostly in this game that Destroy Ass became a Zero TV meme. If I had to guess, there's probably some crap here, maybe. Oh, I see what you're doing. 
Hang on, I'm gonna go to the other end of the noodle passage. No, 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 no. Safe. Haha, uh -huh, you were now colder than you were. Ah. Stop it. Stop it. If I try to evade too much, I'll fall into the green. We're onto the green. have a whole bunch more scrolls I will absolutely never use. Oh, that was a good one. Why do you have an Imperial report on Sarthal in your library? I guess Hermias Mora just collects everything that was committed to any sort of page or parchment, or if it was written, it belongs to Hermias Mora. My grocery shopping list is somewhere in here. It's like, don't forget cat litter. Hermias Mora is like, yes, knowledge. Did you, did you ride the noodle bridge to the other side? What is that what I'm out there? I don't want to know you're a different guy. Okay. Noodle. I don't even care about that seeker. He's a chump. Or er, lurker, that guy. What does this guy do? Well, he lurks. That's a lurker. I'm going on break. If you guys don't like fire breath, but I don't still know the first word. York. Yeah, that works better than frost. Get any. What's saying Zap? Oh, you guys resist fire. Allegedly. Seems like there's a, you know, destroy the master seeker to dispel the other ones kind of thing going on, but it's not always the first one you see. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. <clears throat> Seekers are stupid. Oh no, he's back. Man, it would be nice to know more owl fire breath, wouldn't it? That seems like an awfully good cat yell. Ouch. Get that up. Douche. Anyway. Kind of don't like those things. It's kind of gross.
Seven. The crappy tentacles. Uh, the dragon aspect went away already. I do have to say, I'm still kind of not tired of archery. I am glad I went with stand and shoot archer for this character. I feel like that's worked out pretty well for me. Man, this is a long book. Five chapters, what am I made of read? Snow bear shield is just a round shield with some fur stapled onto it. Get the hell out of here, snow bear shield. It's like the way they go into the holes is like, ugh, I don't like. Epistolary acumen. Well done, my champion. Your journey towards enlightenment has finally led you here. For an all-seeing type, you, like, apparently missed that I've been here four times already. Also, I could say six sentences in the amount of time it took you to say that one. What do you want from me now? <laughs> Sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. Well, he's not wrong. Yeah, I came here to find out what Mirak knows. All that he knows, he learned from me. I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn to bend the world to your will. I mean, I guess, kinda. Yeah, a little bit. Use the knowledge you need, although you did not know you needed it. Rushmura. Never share thing unless it's worth taking a very long Time to stay. You cannot hope to surpass him. Dang. Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has. I can't look left. Apparently the game thinks her Maius is somewhere around here. Uh, Alright, what do you want? Knowledge. For knowledge. The scar. 
have withheld their secrets from me for many long years. I'm just facing away from Hermias with my like arms crossed, like mm. this no. to be added to my library. 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 <laughs> Alright, I'll see what I can find out. I know you will. And then I will give you the knowledge that you seek. He's Daedra. The skull seaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. Skyrim. All right, can I pick a boon now? Oh, really? I do like my frost breath a lot. Does more damage and may disintegrate enemies? Well, all right. Sorry, I mean, I gotta. Like, I still only know the first word of fire breath. Book had a real interesting twist ending, I gotta say. What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. I saw Eyeball. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did he have to say? He must have wanted something from you. Yeah, he wants me to do bad stuff to the skull, I think. What secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to tell me. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. All right, good chat. Damn it, I always get this animation. I hate that one. What's it even doing? Okay. Good Eldritch Horror, everyone. We, we really got a lot done here. Ah, uh, dragon. Figured they had to throw a dragon at me just because we haven't seen one in a little while. This one's a little gross though. Ooh, he's a lightning dragon. Get down here. Yeah. Uh. He doesn't look too displeased about it, is it? <laughs> That's fine. All right, good fight. <laughs> Tom, I gotta chuckle at a bite. Malakath stone us. My favorite Elder Scrolls universe curse by far is a guy in Elder Scrolls Online who says, "By shores, shiny hearts." <laughs> it is funny. Because of butt. I guess that's the obligatory dragon they throw at you for free, so you have a soul to, that you can use definitely to unlock the word. Mind. Did it. So, can I like report back to him to learn about more black books? Is that how that goes? Also, what are the odds that a courier is going to come, like, running at me while I'm water walking back to wherever I'm going? Yeah.
he apparently got lost on his way home anyway, so we'll just give him some time. And yeah, maybe I'll be able to come back to him for more spooky eyeball upgrades. So where am I going? What am I doing? I gotta yell at the Sunstone. I'm gonna go to Raven Rock first. I met somebody who acted as a general store, I think. I just don't remember where. Whatever. You guys hey. my stall room. Right, I gotta go check that guy while I'm over there getting ready to perform crimes. Uh, I'm not really carrying much else in the way of weapons, am I? Most of the heavy shit I'm carrying is like dragon bones and crap. You have anything good? <laughs> you have anything good, yes. Chitin helmet of major archery. Well, yep, okay, you do have something good. It'll look funny, but... Either you're here to get the finest weapons and armor. No, 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 yeah, how long have I been waiting for, like, a proper... good heavy armor helmet of major archery? And steel plate gauntlets of archery. Boom. Zior got himself some up my grades. Because what am I wearing right now for... Well, I'm already wearing Major Archery. Well, oops. <laughs> I knew that. Well, still, I got a good hat. A good, bad-looking hat. Oh, that's just the worst. Uh, I guess you can have these gauntlets back. It's not your fault. I scammed myself this time. Besides which, it was the other guy who scanned me. Bring your weapons and armor to me. Ah, oh, this hat is awful. <laughs> it's just terrible. But bows do better good shoot. So, good up, up my grade. Oh, you know what? I was thinking of a lady who was in the Tilvani Big Mushroom House, who I thought was a general goods person, but actually was just an alchemist. So, I was talking through a paper ass. Well, you know, at least my stupid hat matches my stupid hands. Now, we got that going for us. I have an aesthetic. Are you here to kill me? Yeah. How'd that go? How'd you do? I was hoping for more. I guess it's not that bad of a look. It's just, it's not quite the same. Hey, I want to loot. Hey, you have a hitbox, you douche. Oh, I say. Skyrim. I'm just gonna wait for my shot to recharge. God damn it. Nope, he's just, he's one with soul slime now. Complete ass. 
Also, I figure if I run around on foot, that may allow the courier to find me if, uh, if the diggy guy comes up with anything new. There's a word in there. The word schmort. Which in the dragon tongue means ass. Instrumental in the shout, destroy ass. I got tired from running a lot. <clears throat> and saving a lot. I do think that I am still going to want to actually do the Civil War before we actually finish Skyrim, though. For a second, I was thinking we'll finish Dragonborn and be done with it, but, like, nah. I think we owe it to Skyrim. I owe it to Skyrim. I've been doing so much in Skyrim, I think it's about time I finally did some damage to, you know, the racists. What other waypoints do we have going on here? Alright, so that's... Yeah, we'll get the sun stored on the way by. Save it again, just to make sure. Uh-oh. Wasn't that refreshing? Oh, there are two of them! That's a Star Wars. Funny recognize and laugh joke from hit franchise of the Star War. Starring uh, Carl Weathers as Leonardo. Uh, I'm sorry, that joke petered out. I, I was on a roll for a second, but I stalled. Uh, I stalled. I'm not very good at, like, thinking or doing stuff. Or streaming. Or... Being an alive human. Or math. It, it's okay. I mean, we, we keep coming back to, like, wait a minute. Who's watching Twitch, expecting, like, smart people who have their shit together? That's not what we do around here. I was like, the hell was- oh yeah, it was the Silt Strider. Alright, let's go yell at this rock. I think this is the last one, so we'll see if it does anything to me. He grows ever near to us. Our Corn. Destroy ass. This guy doesn't give a shit. He's just like, huh? What do you know? Consider yourself cleanse. We did it. No more spooky rocks. Take the good stuff. Ain't going Just back one to prison. more bottle. Rips Rips eyes eyes the ash. One Old cat yells at Rox, says Tama. The fool. The fool. I'm the bad guy. We are reverse. We are not good at all. I'm going to kill and murder the other person with crime. 
Hello, fellow Crimer. Do you too also wish harm on others? <laughs> Look at him go! What, you lived? That is not allowed. Cat slap. Yeah, well, let's see. What would I fill in if I made a Zero TV Skyrim stream card? Cat slaps, destroy ass. Annoying meta commentary. Self deprecating humor. See who tries to put a hat on somebody. Yeah, something like is, par is paralyzed when kill cam triggers and floats out of the way of the arrow. Shooting an ally, yep. Yeah. These guys were in such a hurry to leave, to leave, they left all their Reichling Spears on the ground. Oh, glaving! Ah, boo. Zero attempts to, attempts to do a shout, ragdolls instead. What? The Reichlings won? That's the thing about Skyrim, you just, you, you never really know what mood it's in. Skyrim's just gonna go, I know nothing has threatened you in the last 48 hours of gameplay, but these Reichlings are level 90. So, you know, have fun. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, I am very pooped. You know what? How many freaking stamina potions am I carrying? How long have I been hoarding stamina potions? I'm just... What the... Ah, I see. I already killed you. Yeah, I feel like that made it on Relentry Force pretty good. What the... Get out of here. Didn't even have any ores in you. More like ass spawn. Terrible more like joke, that's a bingo slot. Foot up ass, that's a bingo slot. These are like general Zero TV ones though, not even necessarily Skyrim ones. Zero talks about Vine Saw streamers. Zero talks about D&D. Nobody knows what the hell he's talking about. Zero reads a chat message and attributes it to the wrong person. A quick save this time for this end game Reichling ambush. Bun. Bun almost got me. Oh. 
it's you or spends at least five lock picks on one lock. Those are pretty good lock bugs. Come on then, where are you? Yeah, there you are. You know what, I'm gonna flank around. See if we can send somebody on a little ride. Wow, he got way dead. Yeah, you can't ragdoll them, I knew it. Skyrim Parkour, there's a bingo item. And then this time they just kind of aren't a threat. Good shot. Why do you have a gold sapphire ring? Who did you rob? Very good shot. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> Any what? Yeah, I guess let's go do bad stuff to the skull because I have to because story. Elk. Hey, Elk, you want to become Tamriel's first space program? Actually, I'm going to follow him and see if he disappears. Nah. Somebody must have added... Somebody must have tried to make a shield surfing mod for Skyrim by now. Long live the king. Yeah, I kind of totally forgot that this, like, supercharged run relenting force, because, I mean, the once and future best shout. No, it doesn't. I'm a cat. Bottle door. Sell me some stall rib, man. I know you're holding out on me. I mean, so close, and yet. Is this light armor? All right, good talk, man. So, hey, crazy proposition. You heard of this from Ice Mora guy? So the dragons have returned. Well, the skull have survived worse. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Hermann Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. So... So what are these secrets of the skull? Did you guys invent toilet paper? Ah, ancient lore. Handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave Solstheim to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, 
how to listen to the earth. Well, I mean, you can talk to the wind. You can you can talk to a shoe too. I mean. Nothing of power or mastery. So why would he want your wind talk secrets? We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has nearly increased his desire to have it. I feel like maybe you could just go ahead and like, you know, give him your, your, like, ear against the ground secrets. I, I feel like that's not a, such a bad trade. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The tree stone is still corrupted. The tree stone? Is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. So you, you will, uh... Yes. The skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. I mean, yeah, Hermias Mora is like a Daedric right. entity outside of space and time. He'll be a win sooner or later. It is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. I think they'll forgive me. The book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his. It's like the same thing, the same thought experiment where, like, if you had an un an infinite number of monkeys and an infinite number of typewriters in like an infinite expanse of time, the monkeys will eventually type the complete rights uh, works of Shakespeare. Like, it it would take like an amount of time that is utterly unfathomable to a human mind, but simply by the nature of infinity, it's a certainty. Whoa. Yeah, what I'm saying is Hermione's gonna win. So, all right, here's the book. Uh, I don't, yeah, there's nothing you can do to prepare for it. Just stick your face that in there. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, father, you must not do this. That book is wrong. Obviously. Either. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. God, why are you doing this to me, funny animation mod? Look at my goofy head. Actually, you know what? If I squint really hard, I can pretend I'm Yoshimitsu. There we go. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the old maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, father. As always. I mean, he doesn't want you dead or anything. Probably. I mean, he wanted me a little bit dead, but I, I, I don't know, man. Dangerous. Her mice more is weird. He might want you dead. That may have miscalculated on that one. Father! No, stop! Liar! I... I won't! Hmm. you, like, maybe not Do kill him? Something. Dragon. Uh, you have delivered me. Uh, I request it. Hmm, this might not go well for me. In return, I keep my promise. As befits a prince of oblivion. I give you... He burned the word into his body. ...of power. It's a little fucked, man. Like, not altogether necessary. You will be either a worthy opponent or his hmm, successor, as the time. Stop that! Stop it! Uh, my bad. 
What have you done? He did. What? I only just learned that uh, Dova is a little word for. I'm pretty sure I already knew the word Dova. All right. Go. My father sacrificed himself so you could. Yeah, I know. I was there. And lift his. Waking dreams. Oh yeah, tap roots. Go then, kill Mirak. I actually might be at the end of Dragonborn here already. Come to think of it, I might be wrestling a game kind of thing right there. If that is the case, I'm gonna wait. I I want what's his face to send me back to cave or go further deep downwards in ways and get word of good. Yeah, that seems to be about it. Let's see if I can come up with another tap root somewhere. I could do that. Well, hold on. Do the I don't know if the um if the burnt spriggans even drop it. He did. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I must defeat Mirak to stop him from doing bad dragonborns. Be a new, stronger word for Mirak, like bad wrong or badong. Ujord. I'd rather make mead than ugly shrines. You did good getting us away from there. What's oh, mead? I can go for some mead. Actually, I do have some of that. These are Ronald liqueur that I got as a present out of nowhere. I am enjoy. It's not amaretto. It's amaretto adjacent. It's like a vanilla cream liqueur of some sort. I enjoy. Hey, that root time. Whoa. Okay. Friggin' Earth Mother, alright, that's where that came from. One trillion DPS. Says who? Settle down. Wow, that was a very good foos. Stop it. Pretty tough bears. My shout actually disintegrated that other spriggan. Awesome. Best foos. The horse AI in Red Dead Redemption 2 is altogether too good, which is to say, like, some horses spook 
annoyingly easily. So like you'd be riding along and there would be a horse, like a bear somewhere in the zip code. And the horse would just be like, fuck! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Shit! You'd just be like, horse, settle down, man. The horse would be like, God damn, fuck! And the horse would be like, boop! And then he'd be like, yeah, see, that's better. You're good. Good video game. I actually have suspect Red Dead 2 would have been easier with a controller than on the PC. Like you would think, you know, if you have, if you're playing on a PC and you're doing shooty, you want to use mouse, just like full stop. No ifs, ifs, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, like mouse is superior aiming tool. Kind of, but in Red Dead 2, like, the hitboxes are really particular. I was having kind of a hard time, like, I never really did get all the way good at shooting in that game, I feel. Whereas if you're playing with a gamepad, like as, as you did on the PS3 for Red Dead 1, you got pretty generous auto-aim. Like you would hold L2 to focus on a guy, and then you could just kind of aim up a little bit and you'd pretty reliably get a headshot. I mean, it was designed to be on a console, it is still... Again, it's Grand Theft Horse. You guys still waiting for me to do the thing? You know what? Fine. Fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll complete your quest. Uh, apparently, a lot of people are just dying in my wake here anyway, so... Whatever. Fine. Let's do it. We fight. <clears throat> Good animation. Don't relfic me. Maybe I can broker a peace negotiation, like a yeah, like a like a peace treaty here. Be like, hey, you Batmans, you fight Ricklings. Me, handsome cat. You say everybody chill the fuck out. So, are we going? Or? Ah, I see. We need like an intense war drum beat going on here. Skyrim game. Yeah. Might not even be the people I'm thinking of. Maybe we're actually going ready to go into and like kill some bandits or something. That'd be fine. I do that all the time. Professionally and recreationally. Alright. I mean I'll uh, I'll check it out for you. I'll scout ahead. No, it's these guys. Hmm. It's not what I thought that was gonna do. <laughs> Destroy ass. Yeah, I don't feel good about this. Should've stuck with my first call on this one. Ow. Don't you? 
strong. Always fight strong. Old chief strong. Also, what are you what are you doing here? You alright? You strong up. Fight me. Alright, I appreciate you giving my shop time to cool down. <laughs> Good quest. We got a lot done here. We're all spiritually richer people now. Solstheim is a better place. Thanks to all those murders. Damn. Sorry, Nord guys. I don't know. I mean, when a Reekling walks up to you and just says, Hey, man, kill everyone. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, you, just, you gotta listen to them. They have a way of getting into your head. I was seduced by the incredible charisma. Of a Reckling War Chief. Spears float. Oh. Anyway. Hey, Cyclone's a pretty fun shot, isn't it? I would very much like to have all the, uh, the Dragonborn shots before I leave Solstein. See, I bet if I took those arrows, it would just mark all of my glass arrows as stolen. Think of it as shutting down an unlicensed metery. There we go. I'm doing police work. Go to spring. I'm wondering exactly what logic is used for determining if uh, Rawlness has made any more progress in that barrow. I don't know if it actually counts time, or if it counts, like, a number of other noteworthy things that you do, or... I'll just start saving and loading the game until it works. These are the best boots. Noise root. Who do you think is going to be the last guy in Smash? I hope it's Pug. I kind of don't, like, I, I, I feel a little bad for whoever is in charge of that decision. I mean, I'm sure it's probably, like, all done already, really, but, like, I don't think Sakurai's gonna be able to win, you know what I mean? Like, whoever they announce as the last character is going to make some people extremely happy and, like, the entire rest of the internet very pissed off. There is no pleasing everyone. I think it should be Hollow Bug. It may actually be the end of Smash Forever. Okay, I think the high jump is a side effect of jumping on water. Yeah. You are dead, bro. And I have killed the next boss. Cave. Tell 
Uh, get out of my face. Destroy ass. Destroy ass. Destroy ass. Yeah, I'm pleased with my supercharged friggin' unrelenting force. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Antique glass sword, so this is what this looks like. <laughs> it looks like a Morrowind sword. Yeah, those, uh, those purple spriggans. They're problems. Soak. Soak that cork. Carrying on the proud tradition. Soul's time. Cork soaking. Alright, I'll do this good deed and it will make up for my last seven or so murders. It'll be fine. It's a good thing Elder Scrolls games don't do like morality meters, huh? I think it's basically always assumed that whoever you are in uh, an Elder Scrolls game, you definitely suck. Like, I don't think you can ever really be the good guy. Like you kind of can. It's kind of like Red Dead. This is like, yeah, you can you can be a kind of nice murderer. I mean, that's the best you can do. New Vegas did an all right job on that because um. Well, you did have, like, a total niceness meter, but, uh... It was also tracked, like, faction by faction. So, like, every given entity that you ran into and interacted with had their own opinions on you, and they could get kind of nuanced. Like, it wasn't necessarily a binary scale. Like, it was possible to be, like, mostly hated, but, you know, kind of a little liked. Is this the way I'm going? I guess. I heard thudding behind me. You're going for a trip. Best shot. I shouted a bear off the thousand steps the one time, and I watched it, like, ricochet off a tree and, like, spin off into oblivion. I was like, yeah. You are dead now. This pleases me. I guess eventually you might get used to that. Just, you know, sheer familiarity. Oh, yeah, you're the one I thought could buy my stuff. Being totally unreasonable. Yeah, damn him. I think Neloth was still a clan leader in House Teldani the way he carries on. I must have something for a second. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hardly anyone bothers me. People can be so irritating. Trying to put this dragon quest slime on your gunner. Fuck this. I don't care. I got your stuff. Truly, well done. I'll just keep two of them for myself. No need for Neloth to know. 
Take that last tap root and plant it into the wall of the withered house. All right. Mafala cloak. Sure, we'll call this a good deed. I am helping the greater good, by which I mean I'm fixing this Telvani's house. Kind of. Looty. Cat physics. We did it. How's it going, man? Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. Hmm. I might have a few staffs if you're interested in that sort of thing. Do you want to buy staffs? Of course you do, pal. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. I'll keep this. You can have... You know what? Just take it off me. You can have it for free. I don't give a shit. I'm getting rid of these things. Good enough. That woman is never around when you need her. Ooh. Hey. An Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. Yeah, all right, I can do that. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry, I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Oh no, guys, I'm running out of Nordic arrows. It doesn't even really matter where you aim when it's a moving target. The game's going to auto aim towards it and whiff your shot for you anyway. Yeah, I have a Daedric arrow. Pain in my ass. Didn't even leave. <sighs> Fine. Get that way. There was another archery mod which would be even better than this one that I think should like completely disable auto aim and also increase arrow velocity and otherwise remove the bullshit from the uh, from the game's archery system. Maybe I'll try that one sometime later, but I'm at least kind of adapted to this one now. Yeah, I planted the thing. Good. Now maybe Neloth will get off my back about it. I suppose you think you should get paid for helping an old woman. Yeah. Here, take these. I'll sell you more if you come back later. Potion of vigorous well-being. Every type of fungus in Solstheim or Skyrim. Azor. What in cow's name is a potion of vigorous well-being? Destroy 75 points of everything. Alright. That's not a terrible payment. <laughs> I 
Big parts. All right, hang on. Whoa. Arg. Killed by the Telvani's house. I knew it would happen one day. <laughs> I don't say it was right on top of that one. Have you dealt with the Ash Guardian? Yeah, thanks a lot for that, prick. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I don't have any gold to pay you with. <sighs> Great, thanks. Hey, what do you have for sale? For those with the talent to hey, do you want to buy this fabulous staff of lightning bolts? I can take him as a follower now if I want. I don't want. Yeah, all right then. I think that's about it for side quit. Oh, you know what? I can go make Piders. And where was Pider Hut? It was a Valox tomb. It was... It was... Where's the blood skull? No. I think it was Valox too. Oh yeah, unequip these Nordic arrows. Save them. Daedric arrows, I mean. 24 damage. That actually is kind of significant. You dig? Yeah, I think this is where Spider Hut is. Sp Spider us. No, that's terrible. it again lately. I'm trying to like a new allergy medicine. It just makes me too time too damn tired for like minimal actual benefit. There you go. There's some exciting stuff that I talked about on my stream. Those are now things that you know. No, this isn't it. But where's White Ridge Barrow, that might be it. Yep, yeah, this is the one. I don't know what's going on with Rallis. Alright, so remind me one more time before I bake more spiders in my easy spider oven. So, jumping flame spider is just gem plus albino pod. So if I gave you pod and a flawless amethyst, what do you give me? 
Yeah, there we go. Jumping shock spider. Then cloaked spiders are salt pile plus albino pod. Got it. So you want to use the good pods. Gotta make some more shock spiders. Gonna make some. Uh, a couple more fighter fighters. Gonna make. Gonna make, uh, yeah, here we go. More cold fighters. Yes, fighter. Now, I take. Fighter pod. Take fighter pod. Do I have any salt? I must have salt. I gotta always have salt. Oh, I have plenty of salt. There we go. Now I'll make more zappy spiders. Yes, good. Firefighters? Yes. Hi, Ollie. It's Skyrim a lot. And maybe just the one more. Hey. I don't have any flawless emeralds. Make some disease spiders. Yeah, I need to start doing better about remembering to use my spiders. I mean, they count as scrolls, that's why I always forget about them. Favor all of them, then I'll remember. Good lord, he's nasty. <laughs> that is a nightmare spider. Make a few more poison cloak spiders. So if you use a damage pod, they become exploding spiders which don't jump. They just sit there and blow up when something wanders into them. So they're like spider mines. All right, there we go. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just gonna hang around over here and. Ah, make some dad noises for you. There's my various parts. Betray me. Oh yeah, I also got this hat. It looks stupid, but it has major archery. What I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna go over there... To the barrow. Anyway, even though he didn't invite me, and just check in. If they couldn't hold off the Draugr, who can? All your miners are alive, so I take that to mean nothing's happened. We've got a crew on it. They're not sharp, but they're working hard. All right. Mm, fine. 
Ollie says, one reason I can't not do enchanting is fashion. Yep, I get that. Ankai was wearing a full glass armor set by the end there. We're good. All right, then. I guess this isn't in any rush to happen. So... Like, am I going into the end game if I do this? What's going on? Waking dreams. Yeah, that might be it. Eh, uh, hmm. Maybe. Where's this book? Hmm. Hold on here. So, am I just supposed to have waking dreams? Because I'm already sorting alphabet ways and I don't see it. It's, it's like a... it's not considered a book. Maybe it's a weapon. Well, I mean, come on, Skyrim. Good. I'll go kill these guys, see if that cheers me up. Oh, it could be right. Black Book, Waking Dreams, gotcha. That makes sense. Wizard fight! Take it. How frequently, like, my footsteps stop making sound and then make a whole bunch of sound at once? It's that Skyrim quality, it just works. and other assorted streamer catchphrases. Alright, yeah, let's see if that's a black book. Yep, there it is. Good call, Tama. The... Ah! Hey, you Mirak, you darn guy. I'm here to kick your crap in. With my powerful dragonborn words. Hmm. Oh, that was a close one. I guess this place is called Apocrypha, if I read that, uh, loading screen tidbit correctly. Cut that out.
So you have elected to stop existing. Got it. Unless you went underneath me. Yeah, that's probably what happened, didn't you? You probably teleported and went to the wrong Z layer. being neat though. Look at you. Spooky book world. a short chapter. See, again, there's that Skyrim consistency on display. These normally don't hurt, but this time you were nearly dead. Kind of spider. <laughs> well, I mean, it did what it said on the tin. You know what? Here we go. Yeah, go get him. No, go that way. That's where the bats are. Man, seriously though, look at him go. Ah. Where you going, fool? That was satisfying. <laughs> Fighters. My fighters, burn all this crap. Bound sword? Ah, no bound sword. Well, I thought I was leaving you, but who knows? <clears throat> Pardon. Now to escape from spooky. Book dimension. Ah, this way. So. 
Ignore all the cliffing and pretend that was cool. A scroll of stone flesh? That's kind of not bad. It's a good thing they make all that noise. That's my favorite thing about it. All this squelchy, crunchy piter noises. Beloved by all humans. I kind of like how still it is in here, actually. I was gonna say something about the kind of lack of audio stimulation, and then it's just like, you know... What they have going on here kind of works. Is that what we're doing there? Is that how this goes? It is a library system, ah, uh, yes. Library. Good job resisting that fire damage, I am thwarted. Oh my clavy. Must have homemade some health potions. I forty I fortify health. I have forty five health. Sorry, I'm not funny today. Also not funny on other days, but I'm, I mean, you, 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 know, you know, you know, you know. Dude, I didn't see these banners. It'd be better if it just had like, uh, you know, Hermias Mora written across it in Team Fortress 2 font. Trying to ruin the library. There we go. <laughs> I should check the map that I have of Apocrypha. See if I'm going the right way. Golly. Torrent that way. Hmm. You're not doors? Then. Can't go that way. Can can you tell me which way I can go? No. Whoosh. 
That's not even the shot I wanted. That was brick in the library. I mean, that's usually the shout I want. No, no hints, we're just kind of... Here we are. Are you doing, like, the wrong warp? Whoa, wait a minute, I didn't come from here, golly. Space and time makes no sense anymore. Bit, is that what this is? That may be what this is. Who's shooting me? Stop it. So many scrolls. Wait a minute, that's the soul trap spell? Probably can't cast it. No, I know it. I probably can't cast it then. familiar. Maybe not. I hate it. This one. I escaped with my life this time. Hmm. Just... Gasp. Him falls down. Good foos. Yeah, see, like that ethereal humming sound is something I would expect to hear more constantly while I'm in here, but usually it's just quiet. Hmm. 
Hm. Uh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, how do you get into this other room? That way. Not that I'm going to find anything in there worth having. But, you know, principle of the thing. Finally, a scroll of mage light. I didn't mean to pick that up. Whatever, it's fine. This DLC did add a lot of new books, so gotta give it that. I mean, as if number of books was a problem for Skyrim. Sure are a lot of unimportant words you can read if you want. Ook. This is a good bow. Yeah, I was thinking I might call a thrall. Oh wait, like a thrall is in, like semi-permanent. Yeah. Oh really? I'm not so sure Seeker did resist fire damage. Winnowing? That's a pretty good sword. I don't want it, but it's a pretty good sword. That would be a great sword for Ankai. Figure out what what pedestals want what books. This one looks like a mouth. Maybe not. The other one was gnashing blades. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You must gnash. Solve the book puzzle. Lurkers are thought to be we're done loading. Lurkers come from Zior's solid state hard drive. Hmm. 
could use some... Yeah, yeah here we go. How's it going, guys? How you doing? Nah, I'm just gonna shoot him. Bow, nice. I think there's only supposed to be one place in the entire game where you get that. I don't think it will do me a ton of good having no conjuration skill. As a matter of fact, I would be surprised if I have the power to cast it. Cost 179? Yeah, nope. That's an adept. Yes, good. Hey, pal. You look like the one I killed earlier. Ah! We have come south to test our worth against the mighty neck. Yeah, so no, that wasn't scripted. That was just the dragon's preposterous power. Skyrim game design that we love and it's fun skill based goodness and all the enjoyment that you can do in the Skyrim all the time because of how fucking fun it is always Yeah, you know what? Eat my danger arrows. Oh, for crap's sake. I like how they even built in, like, a fail condition that's worse than just dying and respawning. Like you died, haha, <laughs> if you didn't save, I guess you'll just have to go through all this over again. Like, I thought we agreed like 20 years ago that that's not very good game design. No? Alright. Word. Alright then, let's try this again. Well, first of all... Skyrim. Wee.
All right, we'll just eat all my health potions. I mean, that's what they're there for. Oh yeah, my spirit came up. I mean, just why? There's nothing you can do as a player to avoid that. This is just a hard check of whether you're carrying potions. I see you've regenerated all of your health somehow as well. A plus. Wait a stop. I'm doing it wrong. You gotta do what the DLC wants you to do. Silly, silly viewer. Didn't you realize this is the one scripted dragon that you gotta do the thing? Yeah. Oh, we're doing that again? I loaded again, so now the game thinks I'm too heavy? Just bringing it all out today, aren't we? Just the all-stars are making an appearance. All the best Skyrims. Yep. Dragon ride, yeah. You can lock onto a nearby target and attack with magic. You can also command the dragon to attack your target. Fast travel while riding the dragon by using your world map. Alright. Yeah, go in circles. Go nowhere. This wants so badly to be really cool, but it's... it's just janky Skyrim garbage. Yeah, yeah, good, yes, good physics. It's so almost cool. It's cool adjacent. Yeah, I know. See, that's the problem with your dragon tactics. Like, you're always flying around trying to make a big show out of it. No, just... Are you... Can I say, stop this? Can I just say, you know what, don't attack these guys? We have no incentive to. We have no reason to. Can we just go where we're going? Nope. You're fucking doing this whether you want to or not. Oh, I see. Now we're going. I push E and that's the that's the game signal to actually, you know, progress. Got it. So Rosa, are you so easily swayed? That's your voice? No, not yet. As you command. We should greet our guest first. 
And so the first Dragonborn Good. meets the last and. Dragonborn at the summit of a public hunter. No doubt, just as Hermaeus moves and We're, we're not doing the monologue. No. We're done there. Like, he's walking right up to me as he speaks. Like, nah. We're in that, we're, that's not how this goes. Not abjuring my arrows so well there, champ. Absorbing stamina? You really are just like me. You can miss stupidly with your shots, too. Ah, he said the words. So you're definitely cheating. You can't just you can't just know a kill dragon shout. That's that's not how that works. This Mirac is some pay to win bastard. He's playing Dragonborn Deluxe. No, the, the dragon, what I was riding moments ago. Got me that time, got me that time. <laughs> not spiders. Come on, not spiders. I trick. Are you not yet out of dragons? Get to think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide. Oh no, a fatal wound. I guess. No matter. I have found a new dragon board. I think I'll pull through. I'm gonna steal arrow. Why in Christ's name am I using steel arrows? Still have Daedric arrows. May he be rewarded for his service, as I am. Yeah, I ain't serving shit. Harbor fantasism. Rebellion against me. Learn from the easy lambo. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. All right, it was pretty cool that they did the burn up into a skeleton thing on Mirak. Like, I'll give him that. That's the only really nice touch out of this whole thing. What, that's your mask? 50 more Magicka? That's the legendary mask of Mirak? I'm not even taking that. That I'll, th I'll take. I guess I'll take this. Nah, I don't even want your crap.
Oh, knowledge. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, reset my two hands. Oh, uh, I guess I'll confirm that or not. What? And one dragon soul. Yes. Ta da! The only legitimate source of respect in the entire game. And, uh... I guess... Heavy armor? Yeah, nice of them to give you that, like, 50 hours into the game. And charge you a dragon soul for it. For one tree. Ta-da. There you go. It's a dramatic conclusion of the Dragonborn side quest content story. And then here's this guy. Whoosh. My line. Can't fight. Can't fight. Well, I wish I could be more enthusiastic about the end of Dragonborn for you, but I mean, yeah, it's it's all Skyrim. We pretty much know how it goes. So there you go. Be great if that guy Rallis figured finished digging the barrow, but yeah. I mean, yeah, like we saw the dragon with no apparent indication of what you were supposed to do about that extremely scripted fight. We saw the janky as fuck riding a dragon sequence that was n nearly neat, but kind of like didn't really work and wasn't fun or have any purpose really. We saw the Mirak fight, which is pretty much by the numbers. We saw the stupid tentacle animation break. There you go. You you now have this the Dragonborn experience. All for up to three viewers. Yay! Good stream. Best streamer. Good internet. Well, Chances are, why tailboner? Chances are the courier will find me with news of the barrow even when I'm back in Skyrim, so I don't have to linger here. And I'm pretty much cool to get out of Soul's time. But anyway, that worked out pretty well time-wise. Time -wise, at least it's about eleven, so we can knock this crap off. Uh, I guess let me visit these clowns one more time, see if that guy has any stall room you can sell me. I mean, just for funsies. No, it's night, he's closed. Good. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Yeah. What does that mean? Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Yeah, he turned into into bones that are dead. Then my father's sacrifice. It was not in vain. He died to free us. Tell me, was it the only way? Did he need to die? Probably. <sighs> then, it was the Allmaker's will, as he said. 
I know I should not doubt it. But it is good to hear all the same. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Mish. One more thing, Skullfriend. If you will. I know it is not my place, but... May I offer a word of advice? Of warning? I almost certainly don't care, but sure, shoot. As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. Oh yeah, no. I mean, the Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a Look, there are like 25 different Daedric princes that think I owe them something at this point. I don't really give a shit about any of them. Don't worry about it. None of them had the stones to actually come down here to the material plane and throw it out, so I don't give a damn. That's what I say. My shoulder probably isn't supposed to do that. My mother was skull. I don't care. Where's the guy? Here he is. Show me your disappointing stock of weapons and th things. Teaches me how to uh, how to forge stallrim. Carries an iron double axe. Or, you know, Stalrim gear enchanted for, like, conjuration, yeah. Alright, well, thanks for a big fat nothing, Balder. Good for working with you. Good, good for working with you? Yeah, sure, whatever. All right. We'll check. Uh, Glover Mallory. One more time. Just for posterity. Hey, here he is. I've been looking for you. Whoa, Got you're loud. Supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. He's starting to scare me a little. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Glue cliffhanger hanger ending for the next stream. Which maybe some people might think about watching. Hey Glover, what you got? The finest weapons and armor. No matter the outcome. Malediction. I think that'll do. Yep. Alright then, for those who did actually show up, appreciate you watching my streams. Sorry, I'm uh... Not so energetic lately, but you know, we persevere. We'll do what we can. Probably, I don't know how long the Civil War arc takes, but we could have only like two streams left of this potentially. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think for the grand finale of COTV TV Presents Scrim, I think we have to end with the defeat of famous. Racist Nord leader. Nothing but good intentions. Ulfric Stormcloak. Alright, that's all I got for you. Tune in tomorrow for some uh, more rando. Um, yep, that's all I got for you. The uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer tomorrow. Then we'll all just spin around, like hit each other with wiffle ball, bat, wiffle ball bats, and then I'll say the words good. Alright, thanks for watching, folks.